Hello and welcome. Today I thought I'd take you on a plot tour and I'll show you the harvest that I've just done. So we'll start off with the harvest first and, uh, and then we'll have a wander around. Here is today's harvest. We've got two celeriac. That's the last of the sprouts there as um, when, when we'll go on the tour I'll show you I've got to take the sprouts out. There's some carrots there which grew in these tubs here. So um, that's not a, a bad return for them two tubs. And um, we've got one very uh, entwined carrot there. Let's say nothing about that. We've got some kale, some mooly radish, some leeks and two eggs today. The chickens have gone off the lay lately, but um, we have had two eggs today, so hopefully they're back up to um, their full potential. Well, we would have to have four, really, because we've got four chickens, but we'll, we'll, we'll be happy with two. Since we're in this corner, I might as well talk through what's going on over here. So those are my old carrot tubs, which I will refresh the, the, the compost in there and plant some more or sow some more carrots in there very very soon i've been trying to do it for ages but it just isn't working out that way um, my nifofia will go around the front so it's sitting in the sun more but they need potting on as well and i'm left with this tub of carrots here and i've also got some around the front and in my neighbor's garden too if we come round to this bed here uh, I think everything is doing reasonably well considering it very rarely gets the sun at the moment although the sun is shining today and uh, it does seem to be shining on here a bit but as the um, as the sun goes higher in the sky this will be in more sun so that that will be good because that will uh, help it to grow this is my garlic bed elephant garlic and shallots there then if i show you what can only be described as an ongoing mess at the moment i've almost taken the line of trees down and transplanted them i've just got the one at the bottom left to do uh, but i don't know if you can see it very well but there is a mess everywhere at the moment I've put my strawberry runners along here, different varieties in different places and uh, hopefully we'll get a good crop this year off them and my cabbages are pretty much the same as they were. They, uh, they don't seem, well that one does seem to be hardening up a bit but they don't seem to be, you know, rapidly growing along. And then if I just come over here, I have taken the sprouts that were here away because they weren't doing much. We're left with a couple of celeriac down there. And then if we have a look at the purple sprout in broccoli, there are sh sort of the little shoots are coming on, but no broccoli as such this one is probably the most advanced one but uh, still no actual broccoli florets yet this is the tree that i was saying needs to be moved i believe it's the pear tree um, but as i come over to the greenhouse growing bed here uh, we're left with just a couple of celeriac in there and uh, then the perpetual spinach which is still going strong and then a couple of carrots at the back and some i think that was mooly radish again but that hasn't done very well at all so i do need to clear that bed soon so i can move it slightly and then if we come into the greenhouse which again hasn't been tidied out yet uh, there's lettuces in tubs uh, 
they have just sprung on this last week with the with the warm weather and uh I'm I'm pleased with how they go and I am growing them for the heads rather than the cut and come again. And then if we have a look at the broccoli, if I you can see a little floret growing there and a little floret growing there. So this is this is doing well. They've all sort of got the beginnings of some florets showing through. And the same with those, uh, they are a, a tea plant, I believe, those those three there that are showing signs of something. And then if we come down to the bottom, the cabbages, well, I've had a bit of a disaster in here, really. There's a couple of cabbages that are doing really well. And then my cats have got in here and I've been using it as a toilet. So I've shooed them away, but the cabbage that you see that's looking strong managed to survive their attack, but not all of them did. So that's a bit of a disappointment. However, the cabbages have put on quite a lot of growth uh, since I did my last tour. So that's uh, that's encouraging and the lamb's lettuce there too. Just thought I'd show you the daffodils in this uh, bed as they're popping up now. And this is the bed that's got the tayberries uh, all str strung up. I'm just in the front garden at the moment and I've got these three trees left to transplant. And then along here I've got some pansies growing and some more pansies growing in there. And then this is one of the trees I got round to transplanting. That one is a plum. And then just a bit further up is an apple. I believe it's an apple. And I've yet to do the one that goes in here. So I'll be moving the strawberries out and um, putting the other tree in there. Look at this lovely mess 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 everywhere so i've got some herbs down the bottom which are coming back to life really uh, apart from this mint which um probably needs a water and then it'll spring back i've got those plants over there which i just can't remember what they are they're uh, not edible anyway and i've got some alpine plants here ready for me to sort out what I'm doing with the alpine garden which will probably just be a tub or something and I've got leeks growing there those ones are multi-sown those ones are singularly sown but I might separate them and put them into multi-sown pots I'm not sure yet then if we come along to the asparagus bed there's nothing to show you there and then in this top bed uh, all the mooly radish has gone from here. I've got these carrots uh, that I haven't picked any from there yet. They're still looking quite small. I've still got the Swiss chard there. I've got mint in those pots there. More Swiss chard there. More mustard here. Then some sorry looking pak choy which has bolted. And then at the end, I've got my leeks. There's a few leeks. They'll probably see us through now to the end of March. In the trailer bed at the bottom, there's the shallots, which are uh, looking reasonably good. I've got the cabbages there. And they look like that's hearting up a bit as well. Oh, there's one of my cats, Kingsley. Say hello, Kingsley. No, not talking today. No, he's he's a bit grumpy. He is. And then over here, I've got my kale, uh, which is beginning to bolt. So I'll take what's there, and then we'll probably lose some of those plants. And then these are the peas, which I transplanted in a previous vlog. 
and they look like they're doing okay. Got some tubs on the go here. The crocuses are doing well. And these, um, I can't think what you call them now, are coming back. They got absolutely trashed in the frost. And then just up from there, the rhubarb is coming through. This is timply early, so it does come through quite early. Um, and I've got four of them, and they're all coming through. There's the four. I've got some lovely snowdrops. I'm quite pleased with how the back of this border's looking. I'm not much of a flower person, but um, it is adding a lovely splash of colour at this time of year. And what I want to do is, I'm just going to take the bulbs from these pots here when they're done and just dot them around this area a bit more so that there's a bit more of an even spread of colour. But these bellis are also giving a lovely touch of colour at this time of year. Here's my uh, line of four trees that you might have seen me previously transplant. And then we'll head over to my neighbours and see what she's got. Let's just have a look to see what's uh, occurring in my neighbour's greenhouse. So these are the same lettuce you saw earlier in the other pot. They're not doing as well as those other lettuces for some reason. But these ones are doing really well. Uh, yeah, they're ready to have a small harvest. And I took a small harvest from these the other day and they seem to have grown back really, really well. They were looking a bit scraggly, but this spinach is, uh, has made a remarkable recovery. So um, I'm pleased with these leaves. Be able to take some for a stir fry. And finally, here's the patch of ground that my neighbour very kindly lets me use. And uh, these are the broad beans, which are doing well. They've still got their fleece on them. I was hoping to have staked them by now, but they still seem to be okay. They need a bit of a weed and they do need a stake soon, but um, they're okay. I'm quite pleased when I took the fleece off them this morning. The beetroot is still there, but uh, that should be coming out fairly soon. Now this onion bed isn't looking great. I had some multi-sown spring onions this side, but it only looks like a few of them have developed. Which is fine, I, I just know to transplant, sorry, to plant some more and uh, and fill in the gaps, which which is fine. The same with the multi-sown. Um, the multi-sown and the ends there, they're all, well, most of them have taken and they're not doing too bad. So I don't need to worry about them. Uh, there's not much going on here. There are a few onions, but they're still quite small. And uh, you can probably mostly just see the weeds, to be honest. I guess I better add weeding and uh, uh, stake in my broad beans to my list of things I need to do soon. The onions in this row are doing well. These were an F1 variety called High Keeper and uh, they seem to have come through the winter really well. There's some carrots that side and then if we just come up here these are Elsa Craig again and they're looking better than the ones in the other bed for some reason. So I'm not sure why, but uh, 
we will have some onions and then if I come over to the lamb's lettuce is this lamb's lettuce? I can't remember it might be corn salad they are doing as well as the ones in the glass house really so that's good and then the cabbages here are slowly coming on so I guess while I've got these covers off I might as well do that little bit of weeding now and that will be done I have other jobs to do so I don't think I'll steak the beans today but maybe I will um, I'll see how, how long the weeding takes first so um, that's it for my plot tour today anyway uh, I was uh, relatively pleased with what, what's on the go there are some things coming to an end now which you would expect and we are sort of heading towards the hungry gap as it were but uh, hopefully we'll have a few bits and bobs from the garden to supplement our meals so um, yep that's it from me for today all I can say about my plot tour is lovely job <laughs>